What's up guys? In today's video, we'll be talking about how you can increase the speed of your mobile hotspot. Let's jump right in. There are two major points of failure when it comes to the speed of your mobile hotspot. The connection between telecom service provider and the speed of the connection between your mobile device and the third party device that you are trying to share the mobile hotspot with. The first area you need to troubleshoot is the speed of the connection between your mobile telecommunications service provider and your hotspot device. Now, the main thing that happens is when there is congestion on this telecom service provider's end, it makes it difficult to give you the speed and the throughput that you would expect. So to find out whether it is as a result of increased congestion on the telecoms network, you can switch between if your device is a 4G device or a 5G device, depending on what device you are using to provide your hotspot service, you can switch between the different networks that are available on your device or even between different telecoms providers to ensure that it is not the speed that is delivered to your device by your telecoms provider. Sometimes the 4G network might be more con congested and the 3G network might be freer, making it possible for you to get better speeds from your 3G network. So to switch from 4G to 3G, you go to settings, go to network and internet, select your mobile network and switch between your 4G and 3G. And most times I would prefer to put it on automatic because it automatically switches between any of the two networks that it provides the best speeds. But sometimes you would notice that when switching from 4G to 3G, you get better speeds because the slow speed on your 4G network is as a result of congestion on the telecoms network. Now, the second area that you would like to troubleshoot to ensure that you get the best speed possible on your Wi-Fi hotspot is the connection between your hotspot device and the third-party device you are using to connect to your hotspot, whether it's a game console, your PC, or your laptop, or even a friend's laptop for that matter. The first thing you do is to go into settings, go to wireless hotspot settings. You see the option called AP band. It gives you two options, that is to set your network to a 2.4 gigahertz network or a 5 gigahertz network. Now, the difference between the 2.4 gigahertz network is the 2.4 gigahertz network gives you better range, which means you can connect to the network over a longer distance, but it delivers slower speeds. So if the 2.4 gigahertz network is the default uh, Wi-Fi network on your device, switch it to the 5 gigahertz network, especially if you are sure that you will not need to connect to your hotspot over a long distance. And in most times, we find ourselves using the mobile hotspot in an enclosed space, either in an office environment or within your home. And as long as you are not going over long distances from your hotspot device, then you don't have any problem making use of the 5 gigahertz AP band. Now, the next thing you would do to ensure that you are getting the best speed is if you have the option on your device, voice over LTE, that is if you are using a 4G device and it supports voice over LTE, I would advise that you turn that off. It also reduces the load over your 4G network, which also improves the speed at which you can connect to the internet using your 4G network. Another option that I would like you to explore is there is an app called 1.1.1.1. It's actually a form of VPN app that enables you to get the best connection to the internet possible from your device. So if you give that a shot and it delivers better speeds for you, then that will be good. If you have any question concerning Android mobile phone or any mobile platform whatsoever, you can drop it in the comment section and anybody that has the answer can answer it or I can use it as a topic for a subsequent video. Now, if this video was useful to you, please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.